hi welcome back to my youtube channel hi i'm gabriel your icc teacher in this video i shall be working on june 2022 paper 31 question on web authoring i'll be looking at this um in this video i'll be looking at step 13 and the question says a trainee has attempted to create the style sheet for this website this file contains a number of errors and omissions please take note of that that there are omissions and there are errors in this file already so all color codes must be displayed in hexadecimal for color code to be displayed in hexadecimal hexadecimal simply means base 16 that's hexadecimal base 16 let me write that here hexadecimal is base 16 hexadecimal is base 16 then also know that base 16 has 16 different digits and i mean different characters these digits are it has it has 16 digits and they are they are 0 0 to 9 okay let me list them out 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and after 9 it's supposed to go to 10 so 10 will be a that's 10 a b that's 11 then c 12 and d is 13 e is 14 and f is 15 so these are the digits you have in base 16 so please take note so the least digit is 0 and the highest digit is f don't forget f represents 15 so base 16 starts from 0 to 15 and if you count it individually you have 16 digits but because it starts from 0 so that's why you have 15 let's count together 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so these are the digits we have in base 16 so with this it will be clear and also in color coding when you are writing your html code in color coding let me write that here in color coding we have three characters or three colors so since it is base 16 in your color code base 16 starts with hashtag so this hashtag shows that it is base 16 so the first color in your color code in html we have three basic colors and they are red so the first color is red so i'll prefer to represent red in two digits each of them is represented two digits so the first two digits is red and then the middle two digits represent green so i'll represent as gg green and then the last two digits represent blue so i'll represent as bb so that means eg let me show you an example eg so if i have hashtag one two five six and probably fe so it simply means that one two represents red five six represents green gg and the last two fe represents blue so take note of that so anytime you are representing your color code in base 16 all your codes for it cannot go beyond zero and f i just explained that earlier so please take note of that so this is how you write your color code in hexadecimal whenever you are writing your color code in html so it means that the first two digits represent any color code in red and the middle two digits represent any color code in green and the last two digits represent any color code in blue so please take note so the arrangement of the color code is red green and blue in that order red green and blue so take note so i haven't explained that so the question also let me put that here the question also says that the file contains a number of errors and omissions as i read right earlier all color code must be displayed in hexadecimal that's base 16 your style sheet must not contain html or scripting language you know when you're writing style sheet 
it should contain style sheet code or style, style sheet tag it should not contain html code or nor should it contain any scripting language code so take note of that so step 13 open and edit the style sheet you save in step 12 to meet the following specification so there is a style sheet that we saved and the name of the style sheet is j31 style sheet underscore center number underscore candidate number so here is the style sheet so let me use magnifier so that you can see it clearly okay good then with this with this the next thing is let me go to the question you can see it clearly so the next thing is let me see the question the question now says that with this sorry um set open and edit the style sheet you saved so that it can meet the following specifications what are the specifications let's go set the background for the web page so that it has a color with a blue component of d2 take note do you remember what i just explained blue component of d2 so that means blue is d2 red is 74 and green is a b take note of that so to set the background color for the web page so you open uh the style sheet let me bring magnifier so now this is what you add before like they told us that it contains some errors so this first line is intended to be for comment and you see that it was not closed properly and that's why everything here is turned to what to green so what we are going to do to write comment in css you start with slash asterisk then you write your comment and you close with asterisk star so you are going to correct this first so this one is going to end with asterisk star i mean asterisk slash so you have to put that one correctly please take note of that then the next one the next thing you do after that is very simple very simple just follow through that will be okay so we have done that so you see that it has been color coded because this has been appropriately closed before it was not closed appropriately so this has to close comment and that that has differentiated this line from uh, this color so what's the next thing let's see the next instruction which is very simple the next instruction very simple okay the background color so to write the background color you just come to the air after the comment the background color since the background color affect the body so you are going to open body okay when you open body so the next thing is you can tab it and open your curly bracket when you open your curly bracket it brings out all these options so go to background color you pick background color so to pick the color you start with hashtag because it is written in what in hexadecimal according to the question so what are the things you are supposed to do blue component is d2 okay but the arrangement is red first like what i gave you red green blue blue R rgb so you now represent it now so what is the color code for red red is 74 so you come to where you have red okay let me magnify it so that you can see it where you have red you turn it to 74 74 that's red rgb then what's the next thing let me share the question and the next one is uh, g is a b that's green a b so i'm going to do that green a b according to the instruction given us a b sorry let me write this in uh, lowercase and the last one is d2 which is for blue d2 okay good you see you have a correct color code then put semicolon and then check if there's any other thing to do with body so if there is none to do with but body let's see okay nothing to do with body so i'm going to close that with body so which is already closed background color so the next thing i'm going to remove this since i've written the correct code then the next thing is very simple which is set the font style for h1 comma h2 and comma h3 so that the browser selects and displays the font okay to do that what i did i can also use this default setting so i could come here instead of typing it manually here i could come here and go to new style 
so when i open the new style you can see the new style here so what are the uh tags we want to do for we want to do for h1 comma h2 comma h3 that's according to the instruction what are we setting for it let's see it says set the font for styles h1 h2 and h3 so that the browser select and display the font times cy so times cy and if times cy is not there according to the instruction you can see times cy if this font is not available the browser should select and display the font times new roman in this order if neither of these fonts are available the browser must display its default serif font so and then serif font so this is very simple so that means we are picking serif font family so i'm going to come here and pick font font family anyone that has serif serif font okay this one has times new roman serif font but what is the order by which they gave me in the question serif font so the first one is times cy so i'm going to type times cy if that is not there i put a comma times cy if that is not there i should use times new roman so after that i pick times new roman you have to type it correctly if that is not there put a comma if that is not there any default serif so i'm going to pick this serif that is serif family any default serif so you notice that as i'm typing look at it font family times cy because it is seen as a single font type it is quoted here in speech marks then times new roman in speech marks so after that and i put semicolon i think i'm done with that what's the next one let's see sorry uh the next one is set the text in styles h1 h2 and h3 to black that's the color black so now i'll go to color now to set color to black that that means i'm going to make it um hashtag that means the first color which is rr for red will be zero zero and then the green will be zero zero and then the blue will be zero zero that will give me black you see the color generated that's black so that is color black in html uh hexadecimal code so when i have done this so maybe after the first one i may you can see it color that one is done you can see the, then i go to apply then after apply then i click on ok ok then i click ok i'm done with that you can see that is generated here so it's still the same way you can see that so the next instruction is simple what's the next instruction the next instruction is set only style h1 so the text is center aligned with a system point font so it is center aligned that's h1 so that is very simple so i'll come here again like i did initially i come to new style and i'll go to h1 because it affects only h1 so i'll come to font the question says i should set it to let's see the question again h1 center align that will be alignment okay font size font width font okay so we are going to see alignment so let's pick that very quickly so that's very simple for h1 i'll come to block and i will see text align that's where you do for alignment text align the question says center so i pick center then for the font size the question says font size let's see again font size 16 so i'm going to do font size 16 i'll come to value and type 16 16 pixel if you say point i'm going to change this one to point 16 point okay that's it you can see the sample 16 point let's see that 16 points so center for block font you see that then i click apply and say okay you can see that done you notice that the text align colon center center is spelled in british spelling not america so center you see er instead of re take note i mean in american spelling center not in british spelling R uh, re you can see that take note of that then after i'm done with this i can do for h2 so i come to new style and i'll pick h2 according to the instruction h2 
then what is the instruction saying for h2 he said it is fully justified as the alignment 12 points size fully justify alignment alignment is block text align fully justify you can see that then font size is 12 so i'll come to font size 12 12 and i change it to points according to the instruction okay point let's see that again okay then you click apply okay then the next one is um uh that is style h3 the text is left aligned with a 10 point h3 so I'm, i'll come here again just like i did for others h3 so i'll type h3 here sorry h3 then i'll come to block block was the alignment the alignment should be left aligned so i'm go i'm coming here left align the font size is 10 so i'll come here 10 point pt all right then i click apply and say okay you see that for h3 that is done then the next one is uh, set each table margin individually table margin now individually to five percent of the width height of the browser window okay so this is also very simple table margin so i go again since that affects only table so i'll come here create new style for table then the selector will be table table and then margin let's see the question again margin to individually to five percent of the width so where are we going to see margin for um table i think you are going to see that under um border okay let's see that again that is um table margin individually so for table margin so let's go table margin that will be under box then you come to margin instead of being for same for all we are going to deselect this so that we can do separately for top right and as the case may be in the question so five percent of the width five percent of the width margin and then five percent of the width and height so for each of the width that is a uh, right and left five percent so i'm going to do five percent okay right and then left five percent because that's the instruction five percent okay that is width is has to do with uh, the margin to the right and left then the next one is uh, for uh height so five percent that's top and bottom so i'll do five and i'll set this one to percent okay five and i set this one to percent that's the instruction so margin throughout is that so apply then the next one is um set all cell padding to 10 pixels cell padding to 10 pixels so cell padding is td so i'm done with this okay so i'll come here cell padding is td so i'll say new style cell has to be td cell padding padding will be under border let's see uh padding box okay and that is box then um the question says set it to 10 pixels all the table cell to 10 pixels so i'm going to set the same for all 10 pixels so it's in pixel 10 for all then what else i can say apply okay that aff affect only the td because that's a cell then the next one is um let's see set all table okay that's we've done that so the next one is set all table borders and grid lines to b so table borders and green lines that will be table and cd okay grid line is something as internal border which is td so i'm going to have new style then the selector will be table and td table 
comma cd so it's going to affect the table and the cd so what are those things we are setting for them the border should be visible so we are going to have border let's see is it under table um border layout position box um okay let's see border style okay good the question says border same for all solid that's the first thing solid you can see the preview solid that is visible and then separated one pixel wide border width one pixel wide one pixel you can see that then uh what else uh black border color border color that is black so i could type it and put hashtag zero 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 that's black then apply what else border color so we have done solely water color pixel visible then separated so that is border collapse then we say separate and not collapse border you can see that that is under box border collapse let's see table border collapse separate you can see that border collapse separate so i think that's all that's all that's all that's all that's all then okay that's all i think that's fine let's see let's see so the border collapse separated i think we are supposed to do that one under uh table okay so i'll come back and remove that one for now okay then i say apply i say okay so we have that so under table border collapse so i'm going to come to table yeah then i'll right click and go to modify so let me do the border collapse there for this border collapse i've done padding border collapse that's under table border collapse and i'm going to make it separate that's according to the instruction apply okay so we have that what more let's see the next thing the next thing is uh, set so we have done all this set the spaces between the borders of all table element to 10 pixels so that will also be border spacing border spacing 10 pixels border spacing okay so we see how this table right click on it and go to modify st style border spacing and then border spacing is in under let's see okay table border spacing and the question say value 10 pixels so we have 10 10 pixels sorry 10 pixels and it's in pixels so apply to it and say okay so i think this everything we have done correctly that's everything we have done correctly then um the next instruction let's see the next instruction is correct and i did the comments at the start of the style sheet so to contain your name center number and candidate number so i've just done this to contain your name center number and candidate number so i'll come here to contain last edited by let me use magnifier so that you can see it clearly last edited by so i'm going to edit it last edited by okay by gabriel center number is cn zero zero one and then candidate number is zero zero one so that is done then the next thing let's see let me minimize this what's the next thing after that then i think that's all about 
the style sheets so save the style sheets in your j2231 so i'll need to save the style sheet so save all right good so the next thing you know the style sheet has been attached already the next thing is just to see but the question before that is take a screenshot to show the file name and all content of your style sheet and place this in your evidence document make sure the file name and all content are fully visible file name and all content so when you have it this way then you let it be open then you take the screenshots take the screenshots such that you pick the file name which is here on the tab and you take everything nothing is hidden so this is what you take and copy to paste in your evidence document i hope this video helps to explain this particular question that asks a, uh, about 27 marks on only style sheets modification or editing so to say so i hope this video helps drop your comments and then let's know how to help you further thank you for seeing this video bye for now